Okay, so this pitch is for a luminometer for platelet nucleotide quantitation. That's right, yes. It is. Did I say it correctly? Yes, you did. And yes. uh, we're here with Helen Lewis, who's the Special Coagulation Operations Manager in the Pathology Department at Basingstoke Hospital. So the first thing I want to ask you, Helen, is what is the essence of the Pathology Department? What's the kind of key activity here? Um, the key activity here is to provide a diagnostic service for patients who may have bleeding or thrombotic disorders and we receive our patients in the form of blood samples and we treat all of them very carefully and for this purpose we are investigating their platelet function. That's the key role for this analyzer. So, um this, uh, this doesn't seem to be um, a huge amount of money, so what, how come the, you, know, you haven't been able to get this just naturally through the NHS? Um, we, for investigation of platelet function, we have a collection of analyzers that we need to use for the purpose. Um, some are slightly larger pieces of equipment. This is um, an analyzer that we've never been able to purchase before and we've, because they're very small numbers of tests that we do and so we've always sent them away to another referral site. The number of tests we're currently doing is increasing and we have considerable problems with sending our samples away because the samples are very precious, they only have a four hour lifespan. So when you're using a courier service to send things to London, we are um, experiencing more and more problems due to non-arrival of couriers, traffic delays on the M3 and the M4, and um, also just considerable traffic issues. So we would like to bring this test in-house so we could offer it ourselves and minimise any delays and loss of specimens because there's nothing more distressing than having to call a patient back and asking them to have some more blood taken uh, to complete the tests. This delays our uh, provision of a diagnosis and also we have a lot of patients who are children so naturally children and parents don't like to have their um, children having more blood tests taken than is absolutely necessary. So we're trying to improve our service and provide a much quicker turnaround time to um, provide these essential results for patients. Does that mean that you can put through a lot more patients as a result, you know, on a sort of a daily, monthly, annualised basis? Um, or is it just that it gives you a much more comprehensive service for your existing numbers? will give us a more comprehensive service because everything will be done in-house and the results should all be available within one day whereas currently it will take us up to a month to be able to report all our results and uh, feedback to the patient. Um, our workload is increasing. Um, we were only running these tests once a month. It's now down to every fortnight and the demand is such that we be doing this every week so that will meet um, a significant demand which we can't buy at the So it will have a significant benefit for the for your department yes. and therefore the hospital yeah. and, and indeed for the community because I presume um, your patients are having to travel Our patients, huge distances already yeah. so that they can, the Hampshire based patients can come here rather than going. Oh yeah. The, um, the area of, because this is a very specialised service that we provide in this hospital, in this department, um, supporting the Haemophilia Comprehensive Care Centre on site. Uh, we have patients referred from other trusts, Salisbury, Portsmouth, the South Coast, Reading area, as well as our own. So the demand is continually increasing and it will benefit everybody. So if, you, if you're watching this video, it means you already um, are interested in this particular item and hopefully 
um, Helen's explanation will have explained why um, getting this equipment is vital for their department and vital for this hospital. So there's a donate button attached to this link. If you click it, all the money uh, donated will go to this specific piece of equipment uh, for Helen and her team to bring this amazing service um, to Basic Stone. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nina Harrison. I'm the Senior Biomedical Scientist in Special Coagulation. Today I'm doing some platelet aggregation testing. I'm starting off with a bottle of whole blood. I've spun this very gently so that then I could get something that's called platelet-rich plasma. So that in your plasma you've got all of your clotting factors and you've got some small cells called platelets. Platelets are vital for wound healing, so when you cut yourself your platelets will aggregate or stick together to form a clot and therefore stop you from bleeding. I've then spun my sample down even harder in a centrifuge to form platelet pore plasma. So this is plate plasma where the platelets have been removed. I'm going to be doing a comparison um, to see how the platelets react when they're exposed to different agonists. I use different reagents testing the light transmittance between, uh, from the platelet rich plasma comparing it to the platelet poor plasma. This will tell me how well pa patients' platelets are sticking together under different, different influences to see whether anybody has any defects. With the platelet aggregation, I'm starting with our platelet poor plasma that we prepared earlier. And much like you would tear your weighing scales at home, I'm going to blank our analyzer so the light's going to shine through the platelet poor plasma and give me a reading. I'm then going to add my patient's platelet rich plasma, this is the plasma that's got all the platelets in, and the light is going to take a reading through that sample. Once I've added my reagent, it's going to continue taking readings to see how well the platelets come together. And then we're going to show you what the plots look like. nice curve forming. This is the point where I've added the reagent and you can see as the curve, curve forms this indicates that the platelets are clumping together and the light transmission is increasing. If the patient's sample didn't form a curve and ran straight across this could indicate that the patient has a platelet defect.